Hey, this is Ty Smith, and you're listening to the Texas Toast Podcast. everyone and welcome to the texas toast podcast with miss helen and i'm going to introduce you if you don't already know you're going to get to know a talent that we have just blowing up in our texas country red dirt country music and our charts and ty smith welcome to the texas toast podcast hey thank you guys for having me well so excited to have you and let's just get to know a little bit about you you come from roots like where you grew up is roots of red dirt music so let's talk about you well growing up you're still growing up but Oklahoma is home is Oklahoma still your home yes ma'am we uh we have uh born and raised pretty much my my whole family's lived here their whole lives so it's uh it's been really cool to kind of grow up with uh traditional roots and I'm sure you were in the backyard um well kind of growing up in the backyard the same red dirt area as so many great musicians that have come out of that state in your area. So what was it like for you finding music and finding that you had that talent and that ability in you at, at just such a young age? It's been a, a real big eye opener um, to watch and grow up seeing these guys play music and uh, figure out that I, uh, I can also do what they're doing. It's really cool. So you haven't really been playing that long. I mean, so so in case people don't know, Ty, basically you're still in high school. Um, Ty's very young. You're fif- you, finally you're 15 now. But man, the first time I previewed your music when I got it, when I got the you know the radio release, your first radio release over from Jen, your radio promoter, I had to look two times because I listened to the music and I was like, this is a typo, this is a typo. And I don't want to sound like an idiot. And then when we did Texas on Tap and premiered your first radio single, I was like, what are you talking about? And he's 14 years old. So you are just so gifted. So you wrote your first song, like how many years ago? Just a few years ago? It's been a couple of years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that was Wonderland? Yeah. That was my first one. Okay. And so Wonderland, we just discussed, it's it's fresh out going for ads to radio. So I am, I, I, I was so intrigued with that song. I had listened to it over and over and over because you have that talent of storytelling in your songwriting. Yeah. So I want to hear the whole shebang story about that single. Um. So Wonderland, uh, a couple of years ago, I wrote it. And at first I was trying to write, um, and just really see what I could actually do. After listening to a bunch of music, I uh, really wanted to sit down and write my first song. And uh, it, it turned out that uh, I actually have what it takes in me to put words to paper, and uh, eventually the story of Wonderland came, came to be. Okay, tell me the story about Wonderland. So, um, <laughs> in Wonderland, a girl, um, her daddy and mom, uh, mom cheats on him. He uh, and, you know, he, she goes out to find the guy that, you know, she cheated with and, uh, you know, uh, it kind of goes from there. Yeah, it does. But I love that. I'm trying to reach back into my memory from last week when we talked about it. What what did you refer to him as in the in the kind of towards the end of that? A bad tattoo or a bad. That's it. That's it. Tattooed, yeah. Yes, that was that was the one I was looking for. I'm, I'm running my songs together, but you know we probably could run some of that together. But anyway, but yeah, I was just in I was just in amazement of how articulate the wording and the songwriting, and then your voice. Your voice is just so deep, and it's so amazing. Thank you, thank you. So Wonderland's out to radio, and it's out to streaming also, right? Yes, ma'am. I think your downloads have been pretty good on that. Your charting's going to be good, I'm sure, but I'm sure your downloads have been good also. Yeah, we've been uh, very fortunate to uh, have all the support we've had so far. We've uh, It's been really cool to see our fan base grow and uh, really see the impact my music has on people's lives. Okay. Before we talk about Rocky Mountain Pines, because I know there's another great story behind that, let's talk about you. And uh, I noticed that on some of your bio stuff and some of the press media stuff that I got, tell me about this whole billiard thing and touring doing billiards. So um, I'm ranked as one of the top 20 juniors in the country right now. I uh, I get to travel around the country playing pool, and uh, I'm 
very fortunate to grow up in a pool hall with live music. So it's kind of been my yes. two things I've done uh, throughout my life. It's been really cool. So you go all like we're like just all over the country. We've been to uh, Las Vegas a couple of times, been to Florida, Texas, uh, just pretty much all over playing pool. That's exciting. Yeah. And so then as you're there at the pool halls and at the different places, there's music going on. Do you ever just pop on the stage and sing while you're doing these? I haven't done that. Um, there was one place where I played a show and we got there the night before and they had a pool tournament. We ended up going and I won the tournament before I played the show the next night. So how are you handling this? So I'm assuming that you're doing some kind of alternative like schooling. How does school work out for you with your busy career with music and then your competition as well? It, uh, it's been really good. So ever since COVID, I uh, went to virtual learning and uh, kind of stuck with it because I realized mm -hmm. if I want to go out and pursue my dreams and do what I want to do for the rest of my life, that's not really possible to do it while in school. So we uh, eventually sat down one day and, you know, talked about it and said, hey, this is something I really want to do. And I stay with virtual and, you know, go on tour and pursue this. Mm -hmm. I know you've had some really special moments in your career already, but a lot of this started um, at Steamboat for you and then your single Rocky Mountain Pines. I know that kind of intertwined. So let's talk about that particular single. And it charted well for you to be your first radio single. So the backstory on that and the correlation with Steamboat. Yeah, so I got a, a rare foot disease and um, made it to where my foot would swell up like a football. And uh, it made it super difficult to walk and super painful after being on it. So I wouldn't sleep for weeks at a time. So there's one line in Rocky Mountain Pines where it says I've taken so many pills I can't remember my name. Um, at that point in time, um, no matter how many pills they could give me, it wouldn't stop it. So I eventually got to that point. And um, they're all, uh, a lot of people, you know, give me some slack about it because, you know, you know, he hasn't been through all this and this he's writing about. But uh, that's one of the few things I actually have been able to go through and experience. Um, I wrote it about being in the mountains of Steamboat, Colorado at Music Fest. We, uh, it's been a yearly tradition we go to. and. Uh, I was really looking forward to be able to go up there and play my music. And we, uh, I had surgery a couple, a couple weeks before we went. So it was to the point where I was kind of getting scared if I'd be able to actually go or not. And, uh, it, uh, it ended up being good because I obviously got to go and uh, meet a bunch of really cool people and play for them. But, uh, Rocky Mountain Pines was kind of my way of saying, I just want to be up there in the mountains. I want to be away from all this. I just want to get away and do what I love. So tell me about some of your encouragers and uh, as you're progressing with this music career, who has really, really, you know, been by your side and, and mentored you and, and just gave you advice and helped you out. And it's been it's been cool because I've had a ton of people I've looked up to my whole life reach out wanting to help. Um, but one of the guys is BJ Barney. Um, he's been there through everything we've ever needed and helped with advice and stuff. Um, but he's probably one of the main ones I've always really looked up to. Nice. So who are some of your uh, musical favorites or still musical favorites? Who are some of the musicians that are kind of like your go-to list to just listen to? Um, well, obviously, American Aquarium is one of them. Uh, Shane Smith and the Saints, we go. Um, Tanner Ustry has been putting out some really good stuff lately. Um, I love him to death. We, uh, let's see, I mean, Mike McClure. It's, it, the list goes on and on. There's so many amazing artists. Yeah, I see your Tink Brothers t shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. John, those guys, they're, I love them. Yeah. They're, yes, they are They are so awesome and, and so down to earth. And they have such a real story to tell, too, as mm -hmm. well. So, okay, looking at what you've already done, how, how, how hard was it or how easy was it for you when you said, hey, I want a song on radio? How did that all come about, getting your radio promoter um, and that promotion put together? So uh, I, uh, we eventually sat down one day and, you know, part of that talk was the school thing and said, hey, if this is something you want to pursue, um, the best way to do it is to reach as many people as possible by getting on radio. And we said, well, how do we do that? And they said, well, the easiest way is to use a radio promoter. So we, uh, that's kind of, kind of how we found Jen um, and uh, love her to death. I don't know if... Mm -hmm. 
anybody else we could ever use because um, we love her to death and uh we uh kind of just came to do it and said you know if we're gonna hit it let's hit it hard and go all out yeah you're blessed to have her she's so good she's so good every everybody loves jen and ray so you're in good hands there so when what was you were you like did you have one of those tada moments where like maybe you were driving down the road or when did you hear your song on the radio for the first time where were you uh we uh we were driving back from a pool tournament in lawton oklahoma oh. and uh we uh got the notification that said hey you're we're gonna play your song here in a little bit let's tune in and uh I remember it very well because we were driving back and it was raining that night and it came on and that was that was really really cool feeling. Really cool. Yes, that is cool. Congratulations because there were a lot, a lot of stations are playing your music. Yeah, here you go with your second release that's going to do great. So, what do you have coming uh, as far as musical uh, projects and plans coming up for? Um, going in the studio or album releases or just dropping singles like it's very popular these days within the uh, next couple months we're hopefully looking at putting out a new single um it has already been recorded we're going back in the studio i believe next month or the next after um to put out a full record a full album and uh you know just keep keep putting out new stuff and you know we uh love putting out new stuff because it brings a new brings a new story and chapter to our music. And I think that's a big part of it. Um, we got some really big shows coming up uh, that we are super excited about. We, um, so, uh, I mean, just keep up and keep updated on this and you'll, you'll see them promise you. That's exciting. That's really exciting. Yeah. And so talk, talking about your music and, 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 and going in and recording some new stuff, because I'm trying to put, I guess we got to get some more music from you so we can figure out exactly. I mean, like you're, you're kind of got the old school, you have that definite red dirt kind of sound, but like when you look at Rocky mountain pines and uh wonderland, you just have like these two different types of stories in yeah. both of those, in those songs. So that's, what's going to be so exciting to watch Ty with you is what's coming out next. And like you said, what, what you're going to deliver in the next chapter. I'm super excited about it. We, well, yeah. We've been very, very uh, excited about some of the new stuff coming because I feel like the genre we play is very open. There's so yes. much that can be done with it. It's not very restrictive to one thing or another. That's exactly right. That's the beauty of it. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, uh, we wish you the best of luck. And I'm sure you will be probably coming on this podcast again. <laughs> We're going to let you get some more music out there. In the meantime, we're going to be following you and everybody get to know Ty Smith because you are, you are, you're, you're one of our new faces. You're coming. You're, you're going to bring it. I have no doubt. Thank you guys so much. We appreciate y'all. Well, appreciate you too. And we'll be following you. Thank you so much, Ty Smith.